Today I'm going to continue the Live View walkthrough, but specifically we'll talk about the Live View Boost settings for your Olympus camera. So I touched on Live View Boost on my previous video, and uh, I didn't really go into detail or demonstrate how it's used or why you would use it. So I thought I'd do that here. Uh, because someone asked me the question, what's the difference between like uh, Live View Boost on 1 and Live View Boost on 2? So let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, so we'll go back into the menu. And uh, I've already done sort of a factory reset on this. So let's just go straight down to the custom menu, then go into the display menu. And then we'll scroll down until we see Live View Boost. And... Live View Boost basically is designed to help you compose pictures in low light. Uh, you know, when you're doing long exposures or, um, you know, night photography for, you know, cityscapes or star trails, etc. And uh, what it does is it, it brightens the display up so that you can see what it is you're taking a picture of. Because a lot of times in night photography, you look at the back of the screen and it's just completely black, right? You can't see anything. Uh, so Live View Boost is, is designed to lighten up the, the area so that you can see it. So now that we're on the Live View, uh, View Boost uh, line item here, you just click over to the right. And then you'll see several settings here. Uh, we're going to ignore the first three for manual shooting, bulb time, and live composite. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, after I go through this last line item called Others. So what is Others? Others is basically your other shooting modes, Program, Aperture, Shutter. Uh, it also includes the Art View and Scene modes. I believe also the I Auto, but primarily we're going to be working in Aperture Priority uh, through this demonstration. Okay, and once you kind of understand what the on one and on two is, you'll be able to just use it in any of the modes, okay? And un understand better what the ones before that we'll come back to. Okay, so the default setting is off for uh, Live View Boost because the intent is, you know, if you're shooting, say, an aperture priority or program mode, uh, what you see on the back of the screen is going to be representative of what the final image is once you take the picture. And, uh, you know, they give a very good description here, you know, that you can read there. Uh, but let's just do a quick demonstration of what that is. So what I see here on the back of the screen should represent the final image. So let's just take a quick picture. And then let's look at the image. And, yeah, pretty much this picture here represents, and I'll go back to the live view, represents what we saw in live view. And I, like I, I did mention this in another video that... There is a limitation to what you can see in live view, plus or minus three stops. So in this video, I'll just go plus three. So I'm at plus three stops. If you look at the EV uh, meter down here, or exposure compensation uh, meter here. And now the image is three stops overexposed, right? So if I take a picture here, and let's just touch the screen and do it that way. This is what the live view is showing us. Look carefully. And then if I push the play button to look at the last picture, you'll notice that this is very close to what we saw in Live View, if not exactly the same. So now we're in back in Live View. Okay, but the limitation of three stops in Live View, if I were to dial up to five stops, you'll notice, and watch carefully, when I go from three to five, the Live View brightness doesn't change. Okay, but if I take a picture, and we'll go right back on his eye again, and you'll see, that this is the live view now, but if we look at the image I just took, it's five stops overexposed. So just keep that in mind as we're going along and doing the live view boost, okay? So I'm gonna dial this back to zero. All right, okay. So let's see what live view boost on one is, okay? So we'll go down, we'll go back into others because we're in aperture priority. And we'll do live view boost on one and again there's a very good description here live view brightness will not reflect exposure settings and will be adjusted for optimal viewing okay but before i do that look very carefully at the live view right now as it is okay particularly the uh, shadow areas here on the clown shoulder and the back of this uh, tree log okay now i'm going to turn on one live boost on one on <laughs> 
to on one. They, they should have called it something else like level one, level two, right? But anyway, we're on on one, okay? And I'm gonna click okay, click okay again. And now I should be on live boost on one. Now look here at the shoulder of the clown and the uh, shadow area on the uh, tree here. You'll see that you can actually see the outline of the shoulder. You can see the outline of where the tree trunk is. And overall, the entire picture has been brightened up, I'd say at least by two stops, possibly three stops, but anywhere from two to three stops in brightness uh, difference by turning the on one, okay? Um, now, that's essentially the limit of on one is plus or minus three stops as well, okay? In terms of being able to brighten an image, okay? Uh, as the lighting drops, you know, like yeah, in the night, okay? And I'm gonna start turning off the lights here. Let me show you what happens. Okay. All right. And now look at the live view here. Uh, you'll see that uh, really the screen is, is not brightening up enough for you to really compose what's going on in front of the camera. Uh, so that's a limitation of the live boost. Also, this uh, shutter speed is blinking at 2.5 seconds, uh, telling us that we're underexposed, okay? Whenever the, the uh, anytime you see something blinking, something's not right. So in this case, it's telling us uh, the ex it's underexposed, okay? So let me turn the lights back on. Okay, so... We're still on Live Boost on one, okay? And again, just pay attention to the shadow area and I'm gonna take a picture here, okay? Now, when we look at the last picture we took, you'll notice that it does look a little different. It is darker than the on one Live View, okay? Or Live View Boost. If I go back to Live View, we're on on one and it's brighter, okay? So that's what they meant by the uh, live view will not reflect uh, the final image. Okay, now let's look at live boost on one or live boost on two. Okay, so we'll go back into the menu, go back into live boost, and we'll turn this on two, like so. And then again, there's a very good description here. Live view brightness will not reflect exposure settings and will be adjusted for optimal viewing with a slow frame rate for dark areas, uh, brightness of the final image will differ. Okay, so what's happening here is live, live view is going to slow the frame rate of the sensor to allow more light in. So it's very similar to um, a shutter speed. When you slow the shutter speed down, you allow more light in. When you raise the shutter speed, less light comes in, right? And in video mode, it's the same idea. If you're shooting at a high frame rate of say 60 frames per second, it's gonna let less light in than if you were shooting at 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. So if you've been shooting video, you're kind of aware of that. But what's happening here with Live View Boost, it's actually gonna slow the frame rate of the, the sensor to allow more light in so that it can boost the brightness of the image so you can see almost in complete darkness. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK and turn that on. I'm gonna click OK again. And if we go back to the live view, we're on on two right now, live view boost on two. It really doesn't look any different than when we were in on one. And if I take a picture, again, of course, it's still not reflecting, you know, the actual exposure taken, but it is showing us the shadow areas, you know, by the trunk and his shoulder, right? But watch what happens when I dim the lights, okay? Watch very carefully to the live view screen on the back of the camera. I'll go ahead and turn off all my lighting here. See? See how the, the uh, live view is getting brighter? Remember before, when we were on on two, I'm sorry, on on one, 
we couldn't see the face of the clown, just a very, very light outline. And now we can see everything here. So we're seeing almost in complete darkness. But there is a compromise, okay? Remember, we slowed the frame rate down of the sensor, uh, the way it captures what it sees. So generally speaking, and, and it's almost by default, you're going to be on a tripod. Okay, but watch, watch what happens when I move my hand in front of it. Right now, we're probably at about half a second uh, frame rate, okay, or shutter speed uh, is the best way to think of it. You see how blurry my hand is, even though I'm just kind of, I'm just moving it very slowly in front, okay? And I'm gonna, let me turn the lights back on. And continue to watch the live view, but you'll see that the live view adjusted. The frame rate is is dynamic. It's changing with the light. So now we're probably closer back to the normal frame rate of the camera. Okay. And that's what basically on one two is, is so you can see in the dark. And it's very useful for long exposure photography. So that brings us back to the other settings here. Okay. Uh, if you look at the manual shooting, the default setting is on one, right? Which is what? Brightening up maybe up to three stops in terms of the brightness that you see on the back of the screen, uh, but not the actual exposure. And the reason being is usually when you're in manual shooting, uh, you're controlling the exposure and you're controlling sometimes the lighting, okay? So maybe you're doing flash photography or you're doing uh, light painting or what have you. A lot of times you're using a separate like a uh, light meter to measure the light. Then you're setting the shoot the, the settings like shutter speed and aperture ISO on the camera yourself manually. So Olympus has decided that on one live boost is probably the most appropriate setting to help you compose uh, within within a certain limit. Okay, and then but however you can change it if you want to work in manual mode and try to see what the actual exposure is going to look like, then you can turn live view boost off. Or you can turn it to live uh, on too, so that you get the maximum brightness so you can see in the, in the darkest of areas, right? See in the night. But on one generally for manual shooting is probably okay. And then bulb time you'll see is on too, because what is bulb and time shooting? It's basically very long exposures, 20, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, maybe a couple of hours, you know, I... <laughs> I've seen a guy where he put an ND filter on front and, and took like a one or two hour exposure. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but in any case, on two, as you've seen, brightens up so you can almost see in the dark, right? Using the camera. With the caveat that the, sh the uh, shutter or uh, frame rate has slowed down to the point that anything that's moving is going to be blurry. And that may be what you want, particularly if you want light trails of like cars driving by or you want star trails of the sky you know, with the stars, uh, you know, those kind of things, you know, creatively speaking, might be things you want to do, but still you want to compose maybe some foreground, maybe some trees or a rock, I don't know. You want to be able to see where your focus points are, okay, because most likely you'll be manual focusing also, uh, because the autofocus system won't be able to work in that dim of an area. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's one of the other uses for brightening up your scene. Uh, on the back of the screen so that it'll help you focus in the dark. Okay, and then live composite, of course, the default is going to be off because you want to try to see what the final image is going to look like as you're doing the composites, okay? And I did a video on live uh, composite, uh, probably the one just before this one. So check that out if you want to see me do some light painting, okay? Uh, I thought it was kind of neat, but... Um, Anyway, it is kind of a very creative feature in the camera, but off makes sense. But again, like the other two, you can change it to whatever you want. Okay, on one or on two. Okay. And that's basically it in terms of the difference between on one and on two. Okay, on one is going to brighten it up up to about three stops. At least to my eye, that's what it looked like. And then on two is going to brighten it up to the point that you can see in the dark at the sacrifice of a lower frame rate. Uh, with respect to 
uh, what you see on the back of the screen is going to be anything that moves is going to be blurry or create streaks. Um, but that may not be what the final image is, right? So, you, you know, have some fun with that. Now, I wanted to share with you one more quick thing that I discovered uh, while I was doing this. And you have to be really careful when you're changing from live boost modes uh, on one, on two, and off, okay? Particularly between on one and on two, or between off and on two. On two is a little bit tricky. It does mess with your exposure settings slightly, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, right now we're in off, okay? And pay attention to the shutter speed here. We're at 1 40th of a second, right? Now, when I turn off the lights, okay? Look at the shutter speed now, we're at 2.5 seconds. And it's too dark for me to focus, uh, so, I'm going to have to manually focus, potentially, right? So I'm going to say, okay, let me try and turn this to on two. Okay, so we're going to do a live view boost and set it to on two. Right there. And click OK, click OK, tap the shutter button. Look at the shutter speed now. We're up to 10 seconds. So it's uh, adjusted the shutter speed by two stops. Now I have my ISO fixed at 1600, and I can, I can confirm that through the super control panel. ISO is fixed at 1600. Okay, and I'm an aperture priority, so the aperture is still 5.6. Now let me change this back to, uh, well, I'll, I'll do um, on one, just so you can see. Now we're on live boost on one. Now we're back to 2.5 seconds, which is the same as if I have Live View Boost off. 2.5 seconds at 5.6, ISO 1600. Okay, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. And I have a theory as to why Olympus uh, changes the exposure settings uh, when you're switching between off, on one, and, and on two in the live boost mode. And it's it's something to do along the lines of, you know, being still having a little wiggle room if you want to do some exposure compensation even after uh, you've changed uh, the live view boost, okay? Because it's making an assumption, assumption, I think, that if you're in on two, live view boost on two, you're in a very dark area, so it's going to allow you to take longer exposures. Uh, and if you're in just on one or off, it's going to shorten, shorten the shutter speed or take shorter exposures because it doesn't think you're in as dark an area. So I think that's kind of the logic behind Olympus. Although, you know, I can easily change the, uh, the exposure manually or through the aperture, etc. I mean, I'm not limited so much uh, in controlling the exposure any more so than in any other mode, but they do change the exposure for you automatically uh, to give you that sort of headroom. So, you know, basically just experiment with that, but be very aware of that when you're uh, doing night photography because, you know, your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, those are all very, very critical when you're doing long exposures. And with Olympus changing it on you like that, uh, you may not get the results you're looking for, so just pay attention to that. Okay, but uh, that's the end of this uh, walkthrough for the Live View Boost. Um, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below for me. Um, I really appreciate the very, very kind feedback I've been getting, and I really appreciate questions. Uh, if you'd like me to do some new videos on any particular feature or function, uh, just let me know. Okay, so hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks again for watching.